morning, everybody, and welcome to my first online story time for uh, Wednesday, November 25th. I am Miss Jen, and since tomorrow is Thanksgiving, we have some wonderful Thanksgiving themed books for you. Um, but first, can you get your hands ready for me? Ready for some open, shut them. Ready? Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them. Creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide your little mouth, but do not let them in. Good job. Let's see. Our first book is, there was an old lady who swallowed a pie. Do you think you could swallow an entire pie? Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Are you going to try to swallow an entire pie on Thanksgiving? Let's see. I know an old lady. There she is with her pie. Who swallowed a pie, a Thanksgiving pie, which was really too dry. I know an old lady who swallowed some cider. There she is with her apple cider. That rumbled and mumbled and grumbled inside her. She swallowed the cider to moisten the pie, the Thanksgiving pie, which was really too dry. I know an old lady who swallowed a roll. Rolls are good on Thanksgiving. But she just swallowed a whole the entire roll. She swallowed the roll to go with the cider that rumbled and mumbled and grumbled inside her. She swallowed the cider to moisten the pie, the Thanksgiving pie, which was really too dry. What do we have now? I know an old lady who swallowed a squash. Oh my gosh, a fat yellow squash. She swallowed, she swallowed the squash to go with the roll. She swallowed the roll to go with the cider that rumbled and mumbled and grumbled inside her. She swallowed the cider to moisten the pie, the Thanksgiving pie, which was really too dry. Do you see the squash sitting right there inside of her? I know an old lady who swallowed a salad. She was looking quite pallid from eating that salad. Look, she still has lettuce sticking out of her teeth. She swallowed the salad to go with the squash. She swallowed the squash to go with the roll. She swallowed the roll to go with the cider that rumbled and mumbled and grumbled inside her. She swallowed the cider to moisten the pie, the Thanksgiving pie, which was really too dry. I know an old lady who swallowed a turkey. Look, there's the turkey right there. Her future looked murky after that turkey. She swallowed the turkey to go with the salad. She swallowed the salad to go with the squash. She swallowed the squash to go with the roll. She swallowed the roll to go with the cider that rumbled and mumbled and grumbled inside her. She swallowed the cider to moisten the pie, the Thanksgiving pie, which was really too dry. There she is, look. Look how big she's getting on that couch. Ready? I know an old lady who swallowed a pot. How crazy is that? That's not even food. I kid you not, she swallowed a pot. Here she is. She swallowed the pot to go with the turkey. She swallowed the turkey to go with the salad. She swallowed the salad to go with the squash. She swallowed the squash to go with the roll. She swallowed the roll to go with the cider that rumbled and mumbled and grumbled inside her. She swallowed the cider to moisten the pie, the Thanksgiving pie, which was really too dry. Oh, that looks like a pretty Thanksgiving Day cake. I know an old lady who swallowed a cake. For goodness sake, a 10 layer cake. There she goes, she's gonna try. She swallowed the cake to go with the pot. She swallowed the pot to go with the turkey. She swallowed the turkey to go with the salad. She swallowed the salad to go with the squash. She swallowed the squash to go with the roll. She swallowed the roll to go with the cider and she rumbled and that rumbled and grumbled and that mumbled and grumbled inside her. She swallowed the cider to moisten the pie, the Thanksgiving pie, which was really too dry. That was hard to say. There she is though, eating that cake. Oh, 
Ugh. Looks like the kids are starting to bounce up and down on her. I can't even see. Where's her head? There's her head. <laughs> I know an old lady who swallowed some bread. Do you see? There's some bite marks taken out of the bread. Right there. There's some bite marks taken out of the bread. And what are they doing? Looks like they're tying ropes to her feet. I wonder why they could be tying ropes to her feet. Oh, she was so full that she started to float. She said, I'm full. And she's starting to float like a Thanksgiving Day balloon. <laughs> That's silly. That's the old lady. There was, I know an old lady who swallowed a pie. I hope you liked that book. Good job listening. Let's see. Our next book is The Great Thanksgiving Escape. This is a funny book. Let's see, have you ever been at a, a family party and there's just too many adults around and you just want to go off and play? Then this book is for you. The Great Thanksgiving Escape. It looks like, I don't know if we'll be able to do this year, this, this, this year, but it looks like all the family is getting together at grandma's house and they're arriving with their pots of food. He says, it was another Thanksgiving at grandma's. He doesn't look too happy. But it looks like everybody's arriving with their pots of food. Look, it's the bed full of coats. You can play in here with the rest of the kids, Gavin's mother told him. We'll call you when the turkey is ready. Have fun, Gavin's dad called. But Gavin knew it was not going to be fun. Not fun all. He doesn't look too happy to be sitting in the room with the babies. Hey, someone whispered. It was his cousin Rhonda. There she is. She's underneath the coats. What do you say we break out of here and head for the swing set in the backyard? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm supposed to stay in here until turkey time. Rhonda climbed out from under the coats. The way I see it, Gab, she said, is that sometimes you have to make your own fun. He doesn't look too happy to be hit by a block that the baby threw. Are you with me, she asked. Gavin nodded. I'm in. He gives a thumbs up. They crept out under coats and headed for the front door. Suddenly, Rhonda jumped back. That way is blocked by vicious guard dogs. I think they've picked up our scent. I don't know. This one, look, they look like they're both sleeping. This one's got its legs up in the air. But instead, she says, run! Get away from those vicious guard dogs. But when they rounded the corner, Rhonda stopped dead in her tracks. Uh-oh. That looks like a lot of relatives. Looks like a lot of adults. She says, it's the hall full of ants. We'll be pinched and smothered for sure, she cried. Gavin trembled, remembering Christmas last year. He had to ice his face for three days. They, they took off, but it was too late. Rhonda had been grabbed. Luckily, she reacted defensively with a big, Ah, uh, choo! She managed to break free without a pinch by sneezing on the grown-up. Quick, before another one comes in for a snuggle, yelled Rhonda as she bolted past. Head for the back door! Look at all those hands trying to grab them. Oh, what do you say? It looks like they're watching football on TV. She says, oh no, it's the Great Wall of Butts. All the adults are standing around. She said, Rhonda yelled, it's certain death to get between them and the TV. Down here, said Rhonda, I bet there's a way through the basement. Gavin wasn't so sure. It looked dark and smells like dirty socks and hair gel down there. They peeked cautiously around the corner. Zombies, Rhonda screamed. They'll eat our brains as appetizers. But it's not really zombies. It's a room full of teenagers. And look, 
These ones are playing video games or staring at their phones or with their headphones in. It's the room full of teenagers in the basement. They race back up the stairs to the kitchen. Just a little snack for the road, Gavin said. No, Rhonda yelled, it's a trap. We can't, we have to keep moving. She grabbed Gavin just before they were surrounded. They turned and sprinted for the door. We're almost there. Do you think they're gonna make it to the back door? But they skidded to a stop when they reached the glass. Uh-oh, what happened? It's raining. At least we tried, Rhonda said. Gavin was quiet for a moment. Then, they, then he said, the way I see it, Rhonda, is that sometimes you have to make your own fun. What do you think they're gonna do? How are they gonna make their own fun? They went outside anyway. Look, they're playing on the swing set and all the grown-ups are in the door saying like, what are they doing? They're playing outside in the rain. Well, I guess they're gonna have fun. They're gonna have fun on their own terms. That is the great Thanksgiving escape. Let's see, we have another Thanksgiving book for you. This is called The Firefighters Thanksgiving. Firefighters are so important to our community. Let's see what this book is about, The Firefighters Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving Day, this shift's begun. 10 firefighters at station one. What are they doing? They're making their beds, they're drinking coffee, they're getting their gear ready. Lou says, I can cook today. A list is made, they're on their way. They have to go buy the food that they need for Thanksgiving. A turkey, pumpkin, yeast, potatoes, ice cream, yams, and ripe tomatoes. The cart is full, the shopping is through, but uh-oh, a call comes in, it's 9.02. There they go sliding down the pole to go fight a fire. Oh, there they are, going to the fire truck. Sooty, smoky, back to the store, they help mop ice cream from the floor. They split the tab, then peel and clean. There they are, they're about to cook their food. A call comes in, it's 12.15. There they are, opening the fire hydrant, fighting the fire. They, met, they wash the trucks, hang hose to dry, roll out crust for pumpkin pie, pack up gear and fill the tank, plan the next big rookie plank, rookie prank. The turkey's frozen, is it too late? I don't know, is it too late to make dinner? A call comes in, it's 2.08. There they are, fighting the fire. It looks like they're climbing, helping people climb out the building on a ladder. They check equipment, fix a tire, record the details of the fire, put potatoes on to boil, refuel the trucks and change the oil. Throw out pie crust, start again. A call comes in, it's 410, 410, that's so late to be making dinner. But it looks like they have to stop again to go fight another fire. There they are. Oh, this one looks like a super, super big fire. Lou is hurt, firefighters worry, to the hospital in a hurry. The meal forgotten, some pace, some pray. They get the news, he'll be okay. Back at the station, night is falling. Families will soon be calling. The turkeys raw, the potatoes too. No pies, no bread, just thoughts of Lou. They wash the trucks and hose the floor. A call comes in, it's 8.04. Oh no, look, their turkey is raw. The pie crust is empty, the potatoes aren't cooked, but it's 8.04 and they got another call. But you know what? There they go on the call. But while they're out fighting the fire, 
Um, while they out fight, while they fight fires, a feast is spread. Turkey stuffing, pies and bread. A note is left on the tables too. From thankful us to a, to a helpful you, happy Thanksgiving. It looks like the people of the community and their families were so grateful for them fighting fire that they brought Thanksgiving dinner to the firehouse. Looks like we got some salad or and turkey and potatoes and uh, pumpkin pie and mashed potatoes. How nice of that of the people to bring the firefighters dinner. And look, Lou even got his Thanksgiving dinner too, and he'll be just fine. That's a firefighter's Thanksgiving. Good job, everybody. Good job listening to my to the Thanksgiving Day stories. Let's see. But you know what? One of my favorite desserts on Thanksgiving is apple pie. Do you like apple pie? I like apple pie. This one is called the apple pie tree. This is about how apple pie is made and how the apples are grown. Let's see. My sister and I have a tree that grows the best part of an apple pie. What do you think is the best part? Can you guess what's the best part of an apple pie? Why it's the apples. And every year we watch our apple tree grow. In winter, our apple tree is brown and bare. But in spring, leaves grow on every branch. Look, two robins are building a nest in our tree. And look, all the leaves are starting to grow. Tiny pink flower buds appear on the branches. The robins chirp loudly, guarding their eggs. Look, we have all the blossoms and the eggs in the nest. Just when the flower buds open, baby robins break through their eggshells. Now we have the flowers and the baby birds. Now our tree is covered with blossoms and the baby robins begin to grow feathers. When the breezes blow, the petals fall to the ground and mama and papa robin teach their little birds how to fly. Do you see them flying across the top of the page and all the petals are blowing off the tree. Some days it rains and the wind blows hard, but our apple tree Apple tree is strong and the robins are safe in the branches. You see all the birds are safe in their nest. Small green apples grow where the flowers used to be. So you see the tiny little green apples just starting to form. Soon it's summer. The apples get bigger and bigger. Do you see them? Do you see the little green apples starting to get bigger on the tree? The little robins have grown up, they, but they still visit every day. Do you see there's still one there and one there and two up flying? The branches bend down low. They are covered with big round apples. And look, even the deer. So they're eating some that fell to the ground. They're eating some off the tree. Even the squirrels is eating an apple. Now it is autumn. The apples are red and ready to be picked. We fill our basket to the brim. Those look like some big juicy apples. Mom and dad help us peel the apples, cut them up and pile them into a pie shell. We sprinkle cinnamon and sugar over the top. That looks delicious. Mom puts the pan in the oven. At last, the pie is cooked and ready to be eaten. Our tree has grown an apple pie. It smells so good. That looks good. That looks like a delicious pie. And it tastes delicious. There is nothing as good as an apple pie you grew yourself. And there they are with their slice of pie. The end. That is the apple pie tree. And maybe you'll be eating some apple pie on this Thanksgiving. And you can tell people all about how apples are grown. 
Okay, we have one last book for today. It's called Thank You Thanksgiving. Because it's important to say thank you on Thanksgiving. It looks like this family is eating their dinner around the table. Their Thanksgiving looks like they got their turkey and their green beans. But it looks like they're all done eating because they're clearing the plates away. And the little girl says, thank you for sending me, Mom. I wonder where she's off to. Oh, but while she's out, it looks like Duck is going to follow her. She says, thank you, warm boots. You're keeping me warm in the snow. Oh, thank you, music. Where do you see music? It looks like it's the birds chirping. That's music. Thank you, pretty clouds. Thank you, rabbits. Let's see, how many rabbits do you see? I see one, two, three, four rabbits. Thank you, park. Uh, but what happened? She dropped her scarf while she's walking through the pretty park. Oh. Thank you, Duck. Duck brought her her scarf. How nice. And it looks like the bunnies are watching some football on TV. Thank you, General Store. Oh, let's see. What did she buy? She bought some whipping cream, some carrots, and a loaf of bread. It looks like she gave the bread to the duck, and it looks like each bunny got a carrot. She says, thank you, snow people. Oh, thank you, hill. Have you ever gone sledding down a hill? It looks like she's going super fast. She's going zoom down the hill. Looks like everybody is happy that she's back. She's saying, thank you for your applause. Thank you. Thank you, Mixer. What is she doing? It. She's using it to whip the whipping cream. Thank you, pie with whipped cream. So that's why she got the whipping cream, was to put it on top of the pie. It looks like she put a lot on her pie. And it looks like her brother got it all over his face. Thank you, Thanksgiving. Oh, it looks like her relative fell asleep after dinner while they looked at old photos. Oh, but you know what I know? Even the duck and the rabbits got their pie with whipped cream. Because dessert is the best part of the meal, in my opinion. But you might like something else. That's it. That's thank you, Thanksgiving. The end. Good job listening. That was our last book of today. But like we do, like we usually end our story time with zoom, zoom, and then we count down from five, four, three, two, one, and then we blast off to the moon. Ready? Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one. Reach down and blast off to the moon as high as you can. Good job, everybody. I hope you enjoyed story time and I will help you have a happy, happy Thanksgiving and I will see you next week. Bye.